Okay, welcome to this edition of the Institute. For this one, we're going to get a little uh, mathematical. So we're going to try to look at an example with a converging lens down here. And we're going to look at um, things like the object distance, the image distance, the object height, the image height, the focal length, all those different things. So in this particular picture down here, what we have is we have an object sitting over here, and then it creates a real image over here. And so this is a converging lens, so we have our same kind of setup that we get, you know, a ray of light coming in horizontal, goes through the focal point. We have one that goes through the center of the lens, and it goes straight through, and that's what creates it down here. So just kind of glancing at it, I would say, besides it being real, that it's also an inverted image. And I would say that it looks like HI is a little bit larger. But that's one of the things we're going to try to figure out. The other one is I would love to know where exactly is this image. So the thin lens equation is designed to do that. And basically what it says is that if you take one over the object distance, where the object distance is how far you are from the center of a lens, out to where the object actually is. So if you notice, there's our object distance, and you add to it one over the image distance. So the image distance is gonna go from the center of the lens as well, over to where the image is actually created, that it equals one over the focal length. So the focal length is gonna go from the center of your lens to the focal point. So there's F. Um, you could actually go to either one. It'll, it doesn't really matter. They should be exactly the same. Now, there are a couple of things with this, however, that are important. So when you're trying to determine, when you're trying to determine your object and your image and related to the focal length, it also kind of depends a little bit about what's going on. For example, couple of things to, to point out. The focal length is always considered a positive number if you are a converging lens, and it's considered to be a negative number if you're a diverging lens. So if you have the lens actually diverging it away, then we would put in the focal length as negative because that's basically what it's doing. It's diverging it away from a focal point rather than converging it to a focal point. The other one that's important is our image up here. So let's see, I change this color as well. Our image distance. If you create a real image over here, then we consider that to be a positive value. So positive for a real image. But if I was creating a virtual image, this would actually be negative. Also, one of the things you would find is the virtual image would actually be on the same side as the object. So your, your virtual image would be somewhere over here. This would be our virtual, whereas with a converging lens, we would always get our real image on the opposite side of it. Um, we only produce virtual images with our diverging lenses, so that's, those are always going to be negative. That's going to be important when you're trying to apply the thin lens equation to actually calculate all this lovely stuff. Last but not least, we have magnification. So how do I know if this thing is truly larger or not? Well, our magnification equation basically looks something like this. We usually use a lowercase m to talk about magnification. It's going to be the ratio of your image height to your object height. So if that if they happen to be the same, then you get a value of one. If the image height is larger, then you get a value that's greater than one. If it's smaller, then you get a value less than one. It's supposed to be equal to the ratio of di over do. So the ratio of our image distance and our object distance. There's one last little thing that usually pops up and that's a little negative sign here. And so this is actually gonna be important because the way we kind of think of this is this sign, and it kind of goes with the magnification, is if you get a positive value for the magnification, then it's actually going to be right side up. 
or upright. If, however, you get a negative sign, you're actually going to get an inverted mag magnification, or in other words, an inverted image. So for example, in this particular case, I would be putting in a positive DI and a positive DO because they're positive according to this rule over here. And I would have a negative sign here and therefore it would tell me that I'm actually inverted. Or if I use the if I use the middle of this equation right here, technically since HI is inverted, so it's below, I should be putting it as negative and HO would be positive. A lot of times we use the second part of the equation to determine if we are inverted or not. So these are equations that allow us to actually calculate some stuff. The neat thing is, even though this is referred to as the thin lens equation, you actually find that you get basically the same equations when you're talking about mirrors. The only thing that's a little bit different is um, your positive negatives and kind of relating those things with, we don't have converging mirrors and diverging mirrors, we have concave and convex, and, and that changes things a little bit. So this has been a little bit with lenses as we finish things up with electromagnetic waves and light. Tomorrow we're going to try to talk a little bit about diffraction. Hope you enjoyed this edition of the Institute.